Hi, coming back for the second test. Um, Rose from, from When Fire Dreaming has been so kind to ask a lot of questions about my video that I decided to do a new video for her. But first, I want to show you like uh, how I am into my second canvas. I have to say that I feel like in the middle of the project because all the colors are there and you know it's quite filled but there's not enough the subtleties of light and darkness and colors that are mixing and you know and as you can see maybe I am working with very fine um, brushes and it's one of the things that made that when I was younger and uh, at the art school I had no time for doing paintings projects because I need so much time to do them like with um, pencils, color pencils, I don't know the word I do little, you know, little threads after little threads and it makes something subtle and moving and really great in the FTD effect, but it's really, really long to do. So I have never, I had never before the time and the passions to really devote for a canvas painting, but I really, really enjoy now to do that. I don't know really what you see, so I try different things. So yeah. My new canvas inspired by my shamanic experiences like three, four, five years ago, I would say. Um, yeah, my happy place at this time where I came into my shamanic work and before sleeping and each time I needed to have more energy. This person is like is me, <laughs> you know. So yeah, I will show you when it will be finished and with beautiful pictures. But I wanted to show you, it's always interesting to see how things evolve into time. And one of the things that I've changed in me, and I was yesterday quite angry while I was painting because at one time yeah in my life I was around 20 years old I decided that I was not made to paint and decided to let go all of that that it was not my way and it's so sad because I really 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 enjoy painting now and there are a lot of things including art school time and passions that made that yeah it felt not my medium and now it felt so it feels so much like that that in some ways i regret not having worked more into these ways i would have been interested curious to know how I will I would paint now if I have devoted myself to that so yeah my challenge at the moment is making one canvas per month and not like a quick thing really the more that I can do the best that I can do every month until I have 10 of them seeing how, how I have evolved and making things of them and they are for the moments, interpretations that of uh, old drawings I have made that described spiritual experiences, my way of seeing the spiritual world, spiritual world. So yeah, it's a spiritual back journey in the time, and also maturing, you know, a new way of art and a new way of seeing it. And Roost asked me 
how, do, how does I feel about the incredible journey that we have made together into the season of the seeker and for me it's about that and for the months before you know it has been two years that I am in this what has been an inward journey first stopping working being obliged to stay in my bed or in the chair most of the time and after getting better little by little and I had a lot of time to sing, to write, to paint, to draw, to make collage, to uh, print pictures, to do cards, to do um, everything, <laughs> you know, and and to do the sessions of Season of the Seeker. When I have begun it, I really believe that I will work will come back to work really fast after that in a few months and I was afraid not being able to do the work and finally I feel it great that I had this incredible moment in my life that I had the possibility to do really in depth the, the sessions of Season of the Seeker being able to like making an alchemy, creating this book, recreating these cards and recreating my art, you know, in a way, really my art has been always connected to my spiritual world and even when I was a child. And it has been really difficult for me in the art school to speak about it because you, I had to speak about what was really deep inside me and what I cherish the most and it has been why I, I have gone out of this uh, art world, conceptual, modern art world when, where speaking is more important than what you have made. And Ruth told a bit about my health challenge or they have evolved and if I feel the same person that now that when I received Sabrina's book when it was really uh, <laughs> slim and new and with nothing in it so it was like that and we had made the idea with Sabrina and she had created what I wanted and it was so great to have to receive this moment this book and I remember coming to my parents home to show them and now I have not shown them finished because it feels too personal and do I feel very different yeah totally um, about my heels now my brain begins to work normally at least for a few hours per hours per day and I feel really blessed and grateful for that being able to do things that I need to do for work because I, I am making all the administra administrative papers, the taxes and all the work on Etsy, on Facebook, everything that I can do from home that is not going to the shop and it takes a lot of time and energy and now I can be more truth faithful into myself knowing that I will do a good job after it was awful to do things and one of or two days after watching it and saying what what did I do it's just crap you know so yeah I really feel a different person and like life has put me in my natural way you know naturally I have I am a, an artist a painter a drawer a sculptor maybe I begin just to sculpt some things and I don't feel the inspiration at the moment for that but yeah I know that I will come back and being a seller, being in a shop, uh, I have made a lot of shamanic work and um, 
uh, Reiki work on people and I have been a Reiki master and I have taught to people how to work with stones as I know a lot about stone after 10 years in <laughs> working in it every day and but I have been very talented in it I have to do, say that and when, just before I, my heels I've broken <laughs> you know I had a, quite a success but it was not me and it took me too much energy I am the kind of person that gives you everything I have if you need it you know like no barrier no frontiers all comes to you and like all comes into my art but my art piece pieces don't take me so much energy that people so it's like I have come back into my world artistic world but more rich richer by everything I have done but when I was working and now with my spiritual path that has enlarged I would say and I feel more centered, more calm, really different and at the beginning of the sessions I was quite good in English and I feel far better now like I can read all the sessions of Annie with just one or two words now that I don't know at the beginning it was always in the dictionary to find the words because Annie is using quite um, interesting but difficult words you know not the current words in the conversations and about Kali Ruth spoke about turning a painful experience into a whole new artistic interpretation and I have to say that the last two years I've been that about uh, taking all this pain, of the, all these problems, challenges and making my new art about it. Um, and the difference between when I was at art school and now is that before I just expressed my pain, you know, all, what, all that was difficult in me was outside in my art in very dark and very I would say emotionally aggressive way no I prefer to turn it into something positive and beautiful and calm but rich of everything I have understood and you know I oh I have evolved new perspectives and yeah not giving to people my pain but giving to people the wisdom that I have um, lived you know that I have that I've come to my experience and the last question was <laughs> how is life for you at the moment uh, my back is far better um, still painful but not you know breaking blocking like I can't move for hours or day so it's easier to walk to do what I have to do my head is far better too even if I had to take more painkillers it's like a blur that has come away I think it was really the, the thing that they give you to the anesthesia <laughs> the anesthesia, the multiple anesthesias that I had that really made this blood into my blood, into my head. Um, I have some difficulties with allergies to pollen, flowers, trees for the most part for me, so at really this precise moment it is quite difficult if, even with, with pills. But I so love spring, I so love when there are flowers, new birds, new leaves and it smells so good, you can hear the birds, everything is just perfect for me <laughs> in spring. We have, last, the last weekend we have go to the cinema, seeing Di Divergent, free, <laughs> uh, Allegiant, uh, going 
we have gone to uh, an art um, art place to see some paintings and things like that and I have made some uh, jewelry from four clients that has asked for it and we have made a work that was longer than normally really really it feels like I am rebirthing in a new way in a new direction like I am more myself like I am what I wanted to be when I was a teenager but you know it seemed that it was impossible because there's you have to to find money to live and for the moment it's my husband work <laughs> and I do everything that I can to support his work but yeah for the moment it's my uh, hubby that is working for me I have worked a lot for him you know at the beginning I was the one that was always at work and so yeah I feel good and I feel in a good direction and even if my hubby has really difficulties now really because he feels responsible of everything you know he's quite happy at the beginning of this week because we have su we had such a great weekend and it gives hope and energy for the future feeling that we can live new experiences soon you know that his problems are getting out slowly and that um, future will be better for us so yeah I feel good and thank you for the season of the Seeker, Annie. It has been a great, great experience. I am working on the next book for the season of the Dedicant. So if you see, watch this video, be sure that I will be there for that and I wait for it every day of my life. So have a nice day, everyone. See you soon and I love you.